Hop on board guys for Fusion 30 workout roller coaster. So we've got three different rounds. This is working the entire body. Round number one is a bit of a challenge. See if you can do the five exercises back to back, which are interconnected uh, until the time is up. There's no rest between any of these exercises in any of these rounds. It's not designed, well, especially round two and three, not designed for you to be able to beat the clock. It's designed to push you to your limits, okay? So don't try to sacrifice form and try to beat the clock on rounds two and three. But rounds one, by all means, do try to uh, keep up with the music and keep up with that exercise intensity. So round one and the finisher, you've got a plank hold. Each, as the music kicks off, it's gonna start off quite slow. And as the music picks up, so do the exercise range of motion. So we've got a plank hold your first one. So you're gonna hold a full plank. You're gonna squeeze the belly in real tight so you should feel activation of your core muscles, your TVA. So you should get a burning going on already just in the core, okay? If you're feeling anything in the lower back, just squeeze that belly in a little bit more. So straight arms, make sure your hands are in line with your shoulders, feet out all the way, body weight forward, nice flat plank. Exercise number two is plank step. All you need to do with plank step is step the foot out to the side, back to center, switch sides, back to center, whilst maintaining a nice, strong um, flat back there. There's no moving of the hips. The next exercise, with no rest in between, is mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, fingers spread, body weight forward again, just bring the knee to the chest and switch. So you go at this pace, it's fine or hold a plank and then try one rep and then try another rep. Go at your own pace, okay? But do try to pick the speed up to increase that intensity. The next exercise with no rest in between is a squat thrust. So as soon as you've gone the the mountain climbers, easy option, you just step the feet to a squat, bring the chest up, make sure your body weight is back on your heels and then squat down Step it back to plank and then back to squat again, okay? Make sure the feet go out quite wide, okay? Uh, here's how not to do the exercise. <laughs> okay, I'm actually bringing my body weight off the heels, so I have to position my feet out wider to make it a squat thrust, okay? Harder option, hands to the floor, jump it back and then jump it forward. Jump it back and jump it forward, nice flat back there. The final exercise, when the music's really picking up, it's going flat out, is a burpee. So the last interconnection, all you do from the squat thrust is add a jump, or just stand tall. So easy option, you stand tall. Harder option, you add a jump. It's a squat down, hands to the floor. Jump it or step it to plank. Back to squat, big jump. Always have that chest up before you do your jump. So we're not got any rounding of the spine. So it's a squat and to plank. So that's round one. Round two, we're gonna be working on upper body. So first one is a press up hold. Press up hold, hands are gonna come out nice and wide. Make sure your hands are in line with your chest and not in line with the face. So I'll show you front on. So press hold, hands out wide. Slightly bend the elbows and hold it there. You can do these on your knees. So if you need a bit of support, just put your knees on the floor and hold it there. Now, to make this exercise harder, all you need to do is increase range of motion. So you're just gonna go down into that press and hold. So that's gonna make it harder. The lower you go, the harder it will be. And just hold it as long as you can. It's not designed to beat the clock, so, because there's a lot around, so if you do need to, have a quick breather and then go straight back into it again, just holding it. Exercise number two is tricep hold. Bring your hands in nice and close. Same technique, all you're gonna do is just bend the elbow slightly and hold it there. For some people, just a slight little bend, you don't need to go all the way down, even just a slight little bend will fatigue and burn the back of your arms. This is working the triceps. Um, Harder option, you bring your knees off the floor, show your front on, fingers spread, body weight forward. Go halfway down, elbows into the sides, 
hold it there. Obviously the lower you go, harder it's going to be. <sighs> Try to avoid your elbows flaring out because, see, I don't know if you can notice there, but my shoulder automatically gets overstretched. So that's going to dominate and not the back of the arm. So keep the elbows in, it relaxes the shoulder more, lean forward and we're working the back of the arms. Exercise number three is press-ups. Military style exercise, bring your hands out nice and wide. Same as your press-up hold. All you gotta do now though, is start pressing them out. So chest down and push up. Chest down, push up, really lean forward into it. If you wanna make it harder or more effective, bring your body weight even further forward. So that's in a real effective way of pushing up because you're putting more tension on the chest and the shoulders is what's working here. Easy option, you just go on your knees for push-ups. Try to avoid this, I see this a lot. <laughs> okay, my hands are way too far away from my chest. Lean forward and then do your press, okay? So really leaning forward. So you shouldn't be able to see your hands when you're doing your push-up, okay? And then we're on to floor to sky. Floor to sky, it's very similar to a burpee. You're gonna bring your chest down to the ground, arms come out, it's a push-up, so we're into plank position. You can step it or jump it to plank and then stand tall. That's an easier option. I'll show you again. So squat down, hands to floor, step it back to plank and then bring that chest down. Arms come out wide, back to center, push up to squat, stand tall, strong. Now if you go at that speed, for some of you that may be enough, which is fine. We're working on form and technique, not working on speed and sacrificing our form. Now here's an harder option of doing it. It's a squat down, hands to the floor, jump it back, chest down, arms come up, push strong to your squat thrust, big plyometric jump, hands to the floor, back to plank, chest down, push up, big jump. Go at that pace and at that form and technique. Okay, so it's time to really strengthen and tone the legs with round three. This is gonna be four exercises again. You've got squat hold as your first exercise. Bit of visualization, imagine you're gonna sit back on a chair so your knees don't go over your toes. Nice flat back and you're just gonna hold it there. Make sure your feet are quite wide apart, okay? And make sure your toes are slightly flared out as well. That sometimes helps. So, just holding it there, chest up, nice flat back. You can bring your hands behind the head and hold until the time is up if possible. To make it harder, just sort of um, change that range of motion to which really contracts the muscles in the legs. Exercise number two is a borrower squat. Easier option is you bring your feet in to center to start with, nice flat back, always looking straight ahead. You're gonna step the feet out to the side trying to keep the bum nice and low. This pace is fine if you're a beginner. Back to center, trying to keep the bum nice and low. Take your time and then back to center again. Okay, so that's an easier option. Do focus on the bum, nice and low for that one. Harder option is a jump. So stay nice and low, show you from the side on here. Chest up, you jump the feet out to the side, back to center, out to the side, back to center. Here's how not to do the exercise on both of them. Okay, it's a bit of a jumping kind of jack or squat jump there. Try to avoid that and try to focus on keeping the hips nice and low. Exercise number three is a squat. So squat, feet out nice and wide again. You're gonna get nice and low, nice flat back. Try to sink the bum nice and low. Come about three quarters of the way up and then back down again. Three quarters of the way up and back down. Exactly the same as a squat hold, but just adding that moving in. Make sure your bum goes back, knees not over the toes. To make it slightly easier, as you come up, if you lock out, the muscles kind of rest then, and then you can go back down into that squat again. So if you lock out, that's an easier option. But ideally, if you want to get the most out of the exercise, try to keep time under tension. Go three quarters of the way up and back down again. Final one, if you've got anything left in your legs, by all means do try to get even one out, is a squat jump. Squat jump, squat down again, nice flat back. Imagine you're gonna sit back on a chair, knees not over the toes, 
and then take a big jump. Use the arms to power through, chest up. And then a big plyometric jump. Um, by all means, you may not be able to get anywhere from sort of one to three reps. If you can't do any squat jumps, then just do regular squats um, just till the end of the time and really focus on that depth and power. Um, and that's it. So that's all the rounds. Moving on to the video workout, if you're going to be following me um, on the workout itself, what I'll be demonstrating is the first 10 to 15 seconds or so will be an easier an option and then I will go into the harder option, okay? So uh, there you have it, workout roller coaster. <laughs> 